Hello everybody, one of the hottest industries, the industry which pays a lot of money right now in our country is data science. Yes, there are different job roles, different job profiles and the fundamental question you would be asking is, hey, I'm currently a software engineer, can I actually jump into data science? So let's jump in and see if that is possible versus not. We have to be realistic and say, yes, it is possible for you to jump in versus it is not possible for you to jump in. First, let's start with understanding the salary numbers. For an average experience of three to six years, if you are working for a tier one analytics company, the average salary is around 30 to 40 lakhs for different types of data science roles. It could be data engineering, data analyst, data scientist, an ML role, so on and so forth. And if you go into tier two companies, the same number for three to six years experienced guys, the average salary is between 26 to 32 lakhs. And you tell me in the software space, if you are working with one of the IT services companies, what would be the average salary in the three to six year bucket? I would love to know the number. I'm not comparing it with Microsoft or I'm not comparing it with Meta. I'm comparing it with what is the average salary over here. Now, the next question over here is, what is data science? What do data science people actually do? So let's start with a simple example. Imagine, you are ordering a phone on Flipkart or you are ordering your meal on Swiggy. You, without realizing, are giving a lot of data to the company. Number one is your personal location data. Where do you live? Number two is the payment method. Which credit card are you using? Or are you using Google Pay? Number three is your personal preference. Are you a discount driven customer? Are you luxury driven customer? Then multiple such data points they can easily estimate your age gender and all these things now imagine how many of these transactions are happening across different platforms every day yes the number is probably in trillions right and hence there is a lot of data right now and there is a lot of scope to make sense from this data and then put it to the right business use. For example, what should we show you on that home screen of Swiggy depending on your prior order, depending on your location, depending on your age category, so on and so forth. So data science is going to explode and it is here to stay. But what are the rules that exist in data science? Multiple things to start off with data architect, data engineer. Then there are roles related to data analyst, data scientist. And on top of that, there are also roles related to data governance. There are a lot of tools that are required to crack these roles. However, the fundamentals of understanding data, evaluating the data and identifying patterns, the fundamentals behind any of these data rules is always the same. Let me repeat it. Once you are deciding to transition into data science roles, you need to know the first thing that is fundamentals. And then you pick up which is the tool that you want to go and learn. Over here, I want to quickly introduce Odin School. Odin School has a six month live instructor led bootcamp and you will be learning from the basics of data science to the advanced AI topics. And the interesting part here is, as you move along the course, along with the foundations, you will also do a specialization in some of these tools. It could be Power BI, or it could be Snowflake, or it could be any of the other things. Once you complete your specialization, you know which job you are targeting. If you go through the success stories, you will realize that a lot of students have utilized this course to actually transition into data science. And on top of it, if you complete the six month program, you will be eligible to apply for their 500 plus hiring partners. And the placement support will continue for more than two years where you will be having a lot of mock interview sessions and behavioral sessions. You can apply for the program using the link in the description box. And the current price of the bootcamp is 75,000 rupees, but there are early bird offers and a full refund in case you want to drop out of the program within the first 10 days. So do check out the link in the description. Now, the question that you should be asking is, can I really transition into data science? There are different roles. Absolutely, if you're a software developer, you know the fundamentals behind how to code. And once you know this fundamentals of coding, you can quickly pick up another programming language like Python. If you are an industry expert, you can leverage your industry expertise 
and understand how the data is and what the patterns are. So a quick understanding about SQL and the industry knowledge can help you set into the path of the data analyst. Again, if you are already in the extraction, transformation and loading space, ETL, you might be on to moving from the data architect role to data scientist role. So there are all types of transitions that are possible. You need to figure out which transition works for you the best. So let's dig in and understand what are some of these roles. The first one is data engineer. A data engineer's role is to make sure that they are actually building the data pipelines. That is, how is a Flipkart transaction being recorded? Where is it being recorded? How is it being recorded? And then is it recorded in the best way possible versus not? They do the actual construction of these pipelines. There is a data architect who has the vision and who says that, hey, this is how the pipelines should be built or the entire data infrastructure should be built. But the engineers, data engineers are the one who actually go and do the hands-on work. The next set of roles are related to understanding the data itself. Once the data flows through the data pipelines that are built by the data engineers and the data architects, then how do you make sense of the data? A data analyst's primary responsibility is to understand the data, interpret the data, identify the patterns and report that particular data using different dashboards, Power BI, Tableau, all these things come into the picture for the data analyst. And then comes the next role, a data scientist or a statistician. That's the role that I have played for a lot of years. And over here, it is not just interpreting the current data. Okay, how many people from this locality have purchased biryani today? But add on top of that, what is the prediction? What is the forecast of the biryani sales going to be in the next one day or the next two days? How many mobiles will be sold in the next two hours or in the next three hours or in the next upcoming flash sale event? This is the role that is done by the data scientist. So you are literally working with large data sets and trying to predict what's the next thing. I have done this hat, as I mentioned already, for multiple years and I absolutely loved it. One caveat for all these data science roles is that you need to love data. You need to be a data person to start with. If you hate data, then this entire field is not for you. The third set of rules is around data governance. What is the quality of the data? Who should have the access to that data? What are the standards? There are a lot of rules with respect to the personal data. How do they maintain and how do they make sure that nobody gets access to those personal data files of the customers? This is again driven by a completely different team. So you can see the engineering team, then you can see the analysis team, and then you can see the governance team. Different teams, have different capabilities and different requirements. But for all of them, the fundamentals again remain the same, just like coding. Yes, different languages, you have to have different specific nuances. But once you know the fundamentals of coding, you can definitely code. And all I'm asking you to do is go ahead, learn the fundamentals of data science, because end of the day, this is a field that is going to go and stay here for a very long time. And it's the time worth spending. Thank you guys. See you again in the next one. Bye bye.